Hey everybody, thank you for tuning in to Chaos Culture Radio. And today I'm going to dive into a topic recommended by Natasha Vincent. I thought it was very beautiful. So I wanted to um, talk about it. Oftentimes, these topics get whispered, but rarely discussed openly. The sacrifice men make for love, especially when it involves dealing with toxicity. It can't, and let's be real. What men are willing to put up just for sex? Smashing the boom boom. Tap tap. Why is it so hard for us to avoid toxic women? I'm going to break it down for you. In the most simplest ways that we can think about, you know, and I think that um, it's good that we're talking about this now. But think about this. Have you ever wondered why men often sacrifice so much for love, even when it's toxic? In this video, you're going to uncover the surprising reason behind the sacrifices. And I'm all for particular advice to break free from toxic relationships so you can discover the hidden signs that you was given too much and to steps to reclaim your happiness. If you stick around, you're going to learn some key strategies to transform your love life and to avoid the pitfalls that many men fall into. Um, you know, I've been through a lot of bad relationships and I've learned and now um, I'm better now. So I could just going to share with you what I learned. Now, the first thing is the allure of the chase. You know, men are hunters. We like to chase women, you know, so let's talk about the chase. Many men are drawn to the thrill in pursuing someone they are attracted to. It's exciting. It's exhaling. And sometimes it can cloud our judgment when our emotions are high. It's easy to overlook red flags. We convince ourselves that the end of the goal is sex or a relationship. But the question is, is it worth the struggle? Loneliness can be a powerful motivator for these things. A lot of us fear to be alone and it offers men to push and to stay into unhealthy relationships, especially with toxic women. We tell ourselves that these relation relationships is for companionship, even when it's toxic. It's better than none at all. This is the mindset that can lead us to enduring enduring behavior that we would normally not tolerate especially somebody talking to you, disrespecting you, emasculating you, or some shit like that. Especially for the boom boom. Um, But you already know society has a lot to say about it when it means to be a man. We often expect to be strong, stoic, and be able to handle anything thrown our way. Admitting that the relationship is harmful can feel like admitting to weakness or that we failed. A lot of men don't want to fail in relationships or marriage. So many women stay silent and we bear the blur, the burden of the relationship, hoping things will improve. You know, a lot of you women ain't right. And you, a lot of, you know, women make good men bad. But on top of that, there's a manipulative cycle of toxicity. That is a hamster wheel that we constantly going through. Um, Toxic relationships often follow a pattern of conflict, followed by rec reconciliation. These cycles can be addictive. After a heated argument, the makeup phase can feel incredibly rewarding. You know the makeup set, like, you know the makeup sex. The cycle creates a dependency that can be hard to break, making it difficult to relieve the relationship. But lots of times, you know, I mean, we get in these things because of physical attraction. Let's not forget the power of physical attraction. It's a strong force that can make us overlook all significant issues. Being broke, she can't cook, she can't clean, she's toxic. When the physical chemistry is intense, it can overshadow the emotional turmoil we're experiencing. We might tell ourselves that 
the high overweights, the lows, even when it don't. Trust me. I know many friends who, who are with toxic women due to the fact that they're bad. But then in other sense, validation is another key for men. Being in a relationship, even a toxic one can feel like validation, even if even because you feel like they're worth it it's a way to prove to themselves and others that they are desirable and capable of attracting a partner you know especially somebody that's insecure who lack confidence or who don't get girls like that they're gonna get with somebody that's not good due to the fact that to prove that man i can i can get me a girl i can get me a girl nobody can stop me from getting a girl so you know what i mean it is that confident but the thing is i'm telling men we have to break the cycle you know what i mean and you might say yo prince i king how do you break the cycle it starts with self-awareness y'all hear me say this on the show many times recognizing there's a pattern of toxic behavior and understanding why it's crucial building self-esteem self-worth outside of the relationship is also vital surrounding yourself by family and friends that are supportive and you know we talk about therapy seek professional help as needed it's most important know that you desire a healthy loving relationship you deserve it everybody does because it's important for you and if you potentially have kids in a relationship they can grow up in a healthy situation so i'm saying this to all the men out there dealing with toxicity remember this your worth isn't determined by a relationship status. You have to have the strength to break free and happiness within yourself. Within yourself, bro. And you know I, mean? I know it's a lot to think out. But I'm only saying this because I've noticed how often men stay in toxic relationships and sacrifice their well-being for love. You know what I mean? A lot of it has psychological reasons behind it. These sacrifices can also provide actionable solutions to escape the cycle of toxicity. So I just want you to learn. Um, man, I just want to thank y'all for tuning in, man. This Chaos Culture Radio, you know we on Monday, Wednesday, Friday from 6 to 8. I just wanted to drop this because it was heavy on my heart and let y'all know. Like and subscribe and share the video. Y'all have a